Hey guys, how's it going? Mara Solo here, and this is a topic. <laughs> this is one I've wanted to talk about in a legit discussion video format, and not just the way I've been doing it um, in just various other videos, especially since it usually came down to Smash Brothers, um, that this would happen a lot for. So, I did mention this kind of a thing, uh, actually as early as, um, I think, Arc 3 of Trash Talk on Westside Studios. Um, so, link down below to that. Um, leaks need to just... We're so impatient now, we have to just stop with the leaks already, because the mystique gets taken out of games that aren't even out yet, or updates to games like it did with Smash Brothers and um, all that stuff. It just needs to stop. But, now unfortunately it can't stop, but leaks are kind of a ruinous thing. They ruin the experience and the uh, mystique that games have. You know, so there are, obviously there's a difference between rumors and leaks. So I'll get into rumors in a little bit uh, because you can get away with some things with rumors that you know you can't with leaks because leaks are just now. Of course, rumors and leaks can get proven true or false, but leaks somehow just ruin the experience more than rumors do. Because if you want to put this into some perspective with some specific uh, examples. We get crash rumors all the time, but nothing's ever been leaked, per se. Whenever they have, um, immediately shot down, you know? So nothing's been ever proven with crash just just yet. And we always get rumors. Leaks are like what happened with Smash Brothers, where uh, what broke it for me, what started the downhill spiral from me liking this game, was the fact that this person leaked almost all the remaining info that Nintendo had yet to reveal to us right before the 3DS version came out. So, we had like I think four or so more um, characters that Nintendo were going to go over, and instead this guy was like, here's uh, Dark Pit, Dr. Mario, uh, I think they said Mewtwo or something, um, or not even Mewtwo, it was like Roy and, uh, well, I don't even think it was Roy either, I don't know, but Mewtwo and, I mean, um, Dr. Mario and Dark Pit were in there, and, like, Lucas or something, and, uh, uh, Doug Hunt Dog, and I was like, what? Bowser Jr. was in that list, too. So, that leak, of course, a lot of that shit was proven true, so it was like, thanks for ruining all of us. <laughs> it's not like we're going out of our way to see those videos or look at those links to the leaks, but they somehow weave their way in there, so we end up finding out, because, because once they hit and they're revealed and this leak happens, um, the whole area goes crazy. So it's kind of hard to go or rummage around Twitter to just tweet out random shit or just look at other people's tweets when then you see uh, Bowser Jr. was leaked for Smash Brothers and it's like, alright, <laughs> really? So there's no more mystery. Look at the RC Omni leak and that was obviously fake and now we, out of that we have Smashified, which is really cool, but even he threw off Ubisoft, he threw off all kinds of people, um, not just fans, but higher-ups too, and it was everywhere. Now, say that leak was true, and say it wasn't from Omni, but it was a true leak, boom, we would have been spoiled on like, hey, he's going to be another third-party character alongside Pac-Man and all them, and it would have been like, well, cool, but what? we didn't find it out for ourselves, you know, somebody told us, so the internet told us. Um, <coughs> So leaks, I feel, are kind of poisonous to games, especially nowadays because of just the, our media and the fact of how into it we are. And that's a whole other conversation, I'm not going to really get into like the media and all that, but <laughs> I'm just saying that I guess in social media, uh, with how fast people spread information. So with the rumors, I say you can get um, uh, away with some of that because it's, all, it's hearsay at, the, at that point. With rumors, it's hearsay. It's like, hey, maybe someone said something in an interview and let something slip about, like, okay, like the NECA tease from Crash. It's like, it's kind of a rumor because it's not like he's leaking information of like, I saw a PS4 uh, case over there or, or something. It wasn't like that, but it was more of, oh, I hear they're bringing Crash Bandicoot back, so that's pretty neat, and it's like, well, obviously now that got proven false because they went back on their word and said he saw a uh, fan art 
this one right here. So, um, it was a rumor. So, it blew up and everyone was talking about it, of course, us included, but it, it, nothing was ruined, nothing was, you know, I don't know. <laughs> with, with games, with games, like themselves, like a new Crash game, or say, um, say, I don't know, for a weird ass example, before Street Fighter V came out that it was leaked, that uh, Street Fighter V was in the works, or, or something, you know, um, with a game reveal? I don't think that's exactly... That's not very, uh... How would I describe that? Ruinous, I think I said earlier. So it's not like it's gonna ruin anything. It's it's if content within the game is leaked. That's more of what I'm trying to target here. Um, because it's not so much as leaked that a game is co go coming out. Well, unless you leak out some papers. Like, that actually did happen with Smash 4 at one point. They were like, I, it's called Smash Brothers Rumble, oh my god, and then it had like a Japanese bluish logo on a piece of paper and Japanese text and all that, so that was leaked, it was fake, but uh, point being <laughs> that rumors are one thing, leaks are another, and leaks are pretty poisonous because when it comes to the content in the game that we don't know yet, and we want to know when they reveal it themselves, the company who made the game, and these other people find- I don't even know how this happens. It happened so fast and so frequently. With every other update that came out, we didn't get to hear Nintendo say, boom, surprise, Roy and Ryu from Street Fighter are in Smash Brothers. We got it leaked a day before. Now, that could be because maybe they broadcasted it in Japan like a day earlier or a couple hours earlier because of the time difference or something, and somebody from America somehow got a hold of that. I don't, I don't know how that kind of stuff happens, but. It happened with that, it happened with, um, before the game even came out, with the last few characters. So with every other update that was coming out, they would they would get something right, or with the Nintendo Directs, they would get something right. Um, if it wasn't just spec- because speculation is fine. But the rumors and the mainly the leaks are what kills it, I don't know, I don't know. I want it to stop, but like I said earlier, it's not gonna stop. There's no way to stop these people from doing these things, however they're doing them. Uh, it's almost like Nintendo wants everything to be leaked out. Which is sad, they shouldn't do that, but... I don't know, because Sony doesn't do that. Sony doesn't have leaks of a new Crash game or a new whatever. Microsoft doesn't have leaks of a new Banjo game or whatever. It's just... They reveal their shit when they reveal their shit, and... For the most part, uh, Nintendo does still do that. We get some... Uh, who, I mean, people speculated on Paper Mario Wii U, was it called Color Splash, but hey, that got revealed to us, I think, in the last Nintendo Direct, and we didn't know it was actually going to happen, you know, there were rumors that it was going to happen. No one ever leaked any of it, from what I've seen anyway, because again, the shit finds its way into every crevice of the internet, so one way or another, I will find out about these kinds of leaks, whether I'm trying to search for them or not, and I'm really never trying to search for leaks, because why would I want to do that? I want to be surprised. So, uh, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions? I'm, I'm done rambling. Rumors versus leaks, leaks versus rumors, whatever I titled the video. Um, rumors you can get away with because it's all hearsay, so that just goes into the speculation category where we can talk about what we kind of heard, or we can talk about what someone kind of said to us at one point, like we asked a question to someone somewhere, who worked previously on a Crash game, and then they said, well, we were doing this and this and whatever, or I don't know. There's that, and then there are the leaks, which aren't very good for the community, in my opinion, because it completely takes out the mystery and mystique of what is next to be revealed, you know, content-wise in a game that's either not out yet, or has DLC on the way, or updates on the way, but people get a hold of them first, decide here's everything that they're gonna reveal right before they do it so you know we're impatient that's basically <laughs> that's basically what it comes down to we don't care because we're impatient and hey the info's here doesn't matter how it got to us doesn't matter how we heard it whether someone actually whether someone said it or they actually revealed it but we know now so they're not gonna really care and talk about it the way I am but if you guys feel the way I do please let me know below Let's try somehow, so I don't think we're going to be able to do it. 
get rid of leakers and leaks and shit. Because I don't, again, I don't know how they do it. Maybe some of you guys do, but I have no clue how these people go out of their way. And if I didn't say it before, I want to say it again, um, or say it now. People go out of their way to do this and to find leaks and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know, but I'd rather take hearsay and speculation and rumors than leaks any day because you can't exactly prove. Not that you can prove leaks all the time either, because again, look at the Rayman leak and all that. Or even look at that um, Crash uh, Huge Adventure leak too. That's also going to be down below. Uh, I speculated on that. So, you can fake stuff like that. You can fake. The rumors, again, you can't fake rumors because. You, well, I mean, you can if you're just flat out lying. But you can talk about it. And there are there, there is still some sort of mystique around rumors. But again, with leaks. If you got a picture or a video that shows evidence, and it's like really good evidence if it's not actually true, you know, which again, we can't exactly tell until it is proven true or false, but either way, it's very risky, and I'd rather not look at that or hear about it until the company themselves, for whatever, again, let's just use Nintendo as the prime example, goes over whatever it is themselves. Because either way, whether it's true or not, we're taking a risk to watch this thing, and it's like, well, I, I, it, it could be false, and then, hey, whatever, or it can be true and we just got spoiled on something. So it's a risk. But, I, again, sorry, I ramble on long enough. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. In the comments, I'm Marcella. I'll see you guys later, and enjoy this new end slate. Take care.